So as many of our subscribers know, by now we want to be a resource to promote lean manufacturing. Lean has taken our company to new levels of production while simultaneously reducing stress. Now, keeping with lean principles, we're always improving things. So this part I'm gonna show you has actually been featured previously in Fixture Friday number eight, where we take widely available round bar stock and turn it into rectangular parts. Now this particular part is made out of stainless steel and it's the pad that you see on the face of our pro pallet and mini pallet systems. Now the old pallet held eight parts, the new pallet holds 12. Now the old pallet was great. We did a quick op one in a vise, which gave us all the locating features. And for the palletized op, we used what I call the knife maker's method of bolting through the pallet and into the bottom of the part. Now this gives us access to five out of the six sides with no interference from clamps or vice jaws. So the fact is that this second operation produced parts with great results, but when I did a time study, the more parts we could fit on a pallet extended the cycle time by 40%, but yielded 50% more parts. So where did this mystery 10% free money come from? Well, it came from reducing the number of unnecessary tool changes. So time-wise, my operators spent on average only an extra 15 seconds screwing down the extra four parts per pallet, but their walkaway time went up by six minutes because of the longer cycle time. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but letting the machine just run allows the operator to create real value elsewhere, like loading and unloading the next pallet, inspecting parts, or tending other machines. Now, from a lean perspective, small gains repeated multiple times over leads to massive results in time and money. So let's take a closer look at the pallet itself. Now, this is one of our standard off-the-shelf 8 by 16 inch pallet sizes. So my shop foreman, John, cut this pallet on our five axis machine, meaning he made this pallet complete in one operation. So John collaborated with Alex, my other machinist, and Alex said that handles on the pallets would be a nice touch. So we drilled and tapped handle holes around all four sides so that we at least had the option of putting them where we wanted. Now, I dig the Pearson stickers on the side. I think it just looks awesome. But rounding the corners and using a radius mill along the top are more than just for looks. 